A lot of people online have been bashing Catriona Gray for her answer about poverty when she got to the top three of the Miss Universe competition. A lot of people said that she glorified poverty, said that it was beautiful, and sort of like glamorized it in a way. And to be honest with you, this really pisses me off because I don't think she was trying to do that at all. And mind you, most of the people that are coming after her probably have never helped anybody in poverty in their life. But let's get to her answer. Catriona was asked, what is the most important lesson you've learned and how will you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? And here is the entirety of what she said. I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is poor and very sad. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty of it and look in the beauty of the faces of the children and to be grateful. And this, I think, if I can teach people to be grateful, we can have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children will have smiles on their faces. Now, the craziest part is you have sites like Rappler and others attacking her and showing the reactions of people from Twitter talking about how she's romanticizing poverty and everything. But the craziest thing in all of these articles is they completely forget that first part of her answer. And this is the first part of her answer. I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is poor and very sad. That's it, that's what she says. How can you be romanticizing poverty when you literally say it's poor and very sad? Hmm. Now here's the part of her answer that has drawn controversy. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty of it and look in the beauty of the faces of the children and to be grateful. Okay, so what is she talking about when she says looking at the beauty of it and the beauty in the faces of the children? Obviously this can be taken a lot of different ways, but when we establish the fact that she has already said that poverty is poor and very sad, then we can then look at this second part in a different lens. First of all, as an American that lives here in the Philippines now, poverty is not beautiful. Nothing about it is beautiful, okay? I get that. It's not a beautiful thing to look at. I don't want to romanticize it as much as anybody else ever has or ever will. But there are lessons that we can learn from these people. And these lessons are beautiful in every way. That's all that Catriona is saying here, I believe, is that we can learn lessons from these people. And the fact that we can learn any sort of lesson from these people that live in such dire conditions is a beautiful thing. She is choosing to see the positivity in what these people can give us, not the negativity that the media wants to portray these people with. I recently actually went down to Tondo, Manila and fed 200 kids with a couple of friends. It was an amazing day. But you know why it's beautiful? She says, I taught myself to look for the beauty in the faces of the children. And as I went to Tondo, I filmed a ton of children's faces. We fed them and obviously they were happy because we were feeding them, but I filmed a lot of different children and it seems like the smile on their faces was just unbelievable. How could you not call that beautiful? That someone is choosing to look at the good in the bad. How can you, how can you say that that's not beautiful? For anyone that has actually been there, that has actually helped the kids, how can you say anything different? Now, when you view it in another light, you could say, Oh, we can't romanticize poverty at all. It's a terrible thing. We need to take care of this. We need to fix it. Yes, we do. And you know what? Catriona has, has went in and done hours and hours and hours of work with these kids and with the people there over the, the span of the last couple years. She's actually putting her money where her mouth is. She understood. If you think that she thought that it was actually beautiful, why would she even go down there in the first place? She's going there because she knows poverty is horrible. It's a horrible thing and she needs, and she wants to fix it and she wants to do her part to do something about it. And the reason she won Miss Universe was for a lot of reasons, but I think the main reason was her amazing final answer. And I don't think, I don't think we should, should, should bash her for it. I don't think we should mince her words, try to make headlines and to try to, you know, make money and all this sort of thing. No, Catriona understands the problem better than pretty much anybody out there because she's actually helping, she's actually interacted with these people and she knows more about poverty than probably 
most of the people that are commenting, you know, oh, she's romanticizing poverty online. But just understand this. We aren't romanticizing poverty. We aren't saying that it's this beautiful thing and that way, like, like we want to be in poverty as well because it's so, be no, we're not saying that at all. We're saying that we can learn lessons from the people in poverty many times, especially in the Philippines, and that that is beautiful, that we can actually find a redeeming quality about the people that live in poverty that we can then use in our own lives to inform others and to make the world a better place. From them, the world is becoming better because we're seeing what they're, because we're seeing and understanding the lessons that they're giving us. And that's it, that's all she said, that's all that she means. And I applaud Catriona Gray for saying all of it. Congratulations on winning Miss Universe. You deserve it, and I hope that you wear your crown well. Bye-bye, guys. Tom out.